Whoa, check this out. There's this awesome looking staircase that leads somewhere cool. And we have a gas fireplace. Look at that laundry in the bathroom. Oh wow, there's like a little room up here. And then up these steps, there's a deck. Just be careful up here because that's a long way down. Here we are at 28th Street. To get here, we took the yellow. I think I took the wrong train because we're looking at 14 minutes, but that's actually good because this area is like a construction nightmare. And I remember looking at offices over here and I was horrified. This is a good location with cheap rent, but man, you're not getting much. Unless it's your life's goal to run a wholesale t-shirt business or to sell knockoff iPhone cases. This is some viral marketing right here. Now we're on Fifth Avenue. That's the Empire State Building. This is already a big improvement and wouldn't you know it there's a bong store right here tobacco use only obviously if you want to start your own business in New York open up a store like that check out this creepy looking old hotel right here is it haunted there's only one way to find out I'm not sure what kind of business this is looks like a whitening place over here we have your local street food slash taco truck I don't actually see tacos on the menu but that's okay chicken over rice easier to eat on the street now we're starting to see more bars and restaurants. Tipsy Nomad. Judging by all the Irish flags. I'm sorry, I mean Guinness flags, I guess. This is your local dive bar. Over here we have the Churchill Tavern. And in case you get as drunk as Winston Churchill, here are the rules. I love how the pandemic has made everyone a doctor. Then over here we have a McDonald's. It's not really a restaurant, it's more of a bathroom. And a place for hackers to steal your passwords when you use the Wi-Fi. Here's a question for you computer experts. If I use a VPN and I'm on public Wi-Fi. Can they intercept my passwords? I can't find a straight answer to that anywhere. And if I use ah. Apple's fake VPN that's built into the new operating system, will that do the same thing? Look at this line. It's for the most popular bagel place in town. Jeez, I've never seen a line like this. Now we're on 27th Street and there's a lot of Indian places over here. Hurry in a hurry. I've eaten here. It's delicious. What's the best Indian place in the neighborhood? You're going to find it all around here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six places. He's not lying, they're pretty much everywhere. Then there's this random noodle spot next to this burger place. It might be a vegan burger or something. Sorry, I mean plant-based burger. Check this out, we got a little taco restaurant. It's taco time. It's the great thing about being an adult. Taco time is no longer limited to just Tuesday. Next to that, we got this bowl place. Man, that looks like the right idea. I have no idea what this little business is. It looks like some sort of theater or something. Ooh, this looks like a little bakery. All right, it is. And it's been here since 1935. This looks like the right way to start every single day. And the apartment's two blocks away. That rhymes, subscribe. Next to Ye Old Bakery, there is Ye Old Cheese Shop. This place looks also pretty ancient, but that's what New York's all about. Then over here we have Street Tacos. That place is amazing. And then across the street right here, we have a dive bar. Excuse me, it looks like more of a sports bar. Soon there's gonna be a Korean barbecue, that'll be nice. This is actually the owner of that barbecue place. When do you guys open? So we're looking to open up uh, around the 27th of this month. Good luck. Thank you. The great thing about the building we're headed to is that it's on a really quiet street. Other than these loud motorcycles, which look really sweet, there's like nothing going on here. It's super quiet. But as you can see, all the action's right down there at the end of the block. Here we are at the building. Look at that. Looks kind of cool, I guess, in a New York way. But what really matters is the apartment. <laughs> This is one of the coolest apartments you will ever see. There's this awesome looking staircase that leads somewhere cool. And we have a gas fireplace. Now things here are being cleaned up. But if I don't come to this apartment now, no one is gonna get to see it before it gets rented. Look at that laundry in the bathroom. All right, the staircase is a little steep, but it is super solid, that's for sure. Oh wow, there's like a little room up here. And then up these steps, there's a deck. This is private 
for the apartment. No one can come out here except for you. That way over there is the top of the Chrysler building. A feature like this is definitely something you don't see every day. Whoever was moving out had the right idea with this grill. But look at all the space, There's extra tables, a hammock, chairs, you could do anything. There's even these little lights. I don't know how much they help at night. By the way, do you like this t-shirt? Merch is now available. This is a collaboration with PJ O'Rourke, who's an awesome street artist right here in the city. I'll put a link below if you guys are interested. We're doing a limited run of these. They come in white, black, and this color. I don't actually know what this is. Mint, maybe? Also, we're thinking of having me hang out here at the store and sign some of these for people who are in New York and want to check them out. So be sure to follow his Instagram and mine if you guys want to get all the details on that when it happens. Down this tiny little set of stairs, we've got this area. Nine feet by nine feet, five inches. It could fit a bed. Or I guess it could be a cool den. The ceilings are kind of low. They're about five feet. I don't know. Creativity. That's what's going to make that work. Just for scale. Look at that distance. We are so high up right now. Now, if you're worried about security, this door locks and you're the only one with access to that roof anyways. So this is a two bedroom apartment. It's penthouse level. We're on the top floor and it's $46.50 a month. The layout here is great. Right after you walk in, you've got a bedroom and the kitchen. And this kitchen's pretty compact, but it has everything. Fridge is full size, nice and big. There's a microwave, a four burner oven, Oven. And check this out, down here there's a dishwasher. And this little guy right here is a beverage cooler. Look at how cute it is, fits right there. I almost forgot, there's also a nice sink sprayer, look at that. Below the sink there's not that many cabinets, but look up here, there's a ton of them. You might have to be a giant to reach some of these, but you could put things in there you don't need access to. Like ugly Christmas sweaters. There's also a little bit of counter space, a window, and if you wanna add to that, right over here is a great place for a rolling counter. Right here next to this little hall closet, this is gonna be useful for jackets because it's right next to the door. After the kitchen we've got the living room and this is awesome. Measurements are 10 feet, feet by 13 feet, four inches. And not only are we getting light from that bedroom and that window, but look up here, we've got a skylight. So many New York apartments are dark and have poor lighting, but just look at this, insane. You see this plug by the fireplace? I'd put the TV right on top of it. And if the entertainment center's there against this wall, right over here, you could have a big couch. And then you could do something else over here. I'm not really sure what, but as you can see, there's outlets by the staircase. Now, as long as no one sleeps up Stairs. The people who live downstairs are gonna have it pretty good because one bedroom's over here and the other is at the opposite end of the apartment. These bedrooms have pocket doors so it's easy to close them off. And this room's got a street facing view. You can see some of the other buildings, kind of neat. Measurements are eight feet, eight inches by 11 feet, three inches. Bed could go here or over here. And there's plenty of room for storage and maybe even a home office. We've also got a closet here. It is a little thin, but as you can see, there's plenty of hanger spots. And the other side of this closet has shelves built in. It's good, but easily a dresser goes right next to it. Not a bad bedroom though. You could definitely get a comfortable setup in here. Now the second bedroom's all the way down the hall this way. Let's check it out. Okay, I see a couple of windows. View here's a little bit different. We are facing the back, but we're still getting plenty of light. Measurements are 10 feet, two inches by eight feet, four inches. How's the closet? Okay, this is better than what that first room had. No shelves, but I like how it's a lot deeper. That's definitely a win. As far as your bed, you're probably gonna want it over here on this side just because of the where the doors are. If you walk in here, that's really the only spot you can put it. But then on the opposite wall, dressers, a small desk again, easy to get in here. I guess you could say that this room's a little bit different than the first room. Maybe that person pays slightly less money. Or are these two an even trade? Let me know. Over here, we've got the bathroom. It's a little tight. But I think that's only because the laundry's in here. And it really doesn't take up much room. This would have been a closet had they not put this in. Look, you can even see the shelving. Maybe there was a closet in the past. Either way, I'm glad that's here. We've also got a bathtub. So if you want to take a bath, you can. Sink's a decent size. And then above it, we got this medicine cabinet. Look at that note. You are beautiful. I hope that this stays. Because with all these mirrors in here, some of us, myself included, are tempted to think otherwise. But seriously, what's this beautiful apartment rents, there's not gonna be anything else like this. Just look at how unique it is. If you wanna learn more, check out the video description where you'll also find a link to get some really cool merch and then let's see more apartments together. Pick one here or here and I'll see you in the next video.